body bags were whore lies. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Steven from Shock Extreme Productions as well as Shock Extreme 1 on YouTube and welcome to Body Bags. Thank you once again for joining us. Um, Alright, so we are in another week of our Foreign Horror Month and I chose this one mainly because it's one that I've been wanting to review for a long time. I thought about doing it in Zombie Week, it never happened. Thought about it in Shot on Video Week, but thought of something better. Um, so now in Foreign Horror Month I thought maybe this will be a good chance to knock it out. This one was made in um, Germany by director Andre Chanas, who is the same guy who made the violent shit movies. And you could tell that this is immediately um, either during violent shit or just a side project he came up with. And I'm sure many shot on video fans know this one because it's notorious for one thing and we'll get to that soon. But this one is Zombie 90 Extreme Pestilence. Um, the basic plot of this one, we get a backstory in the beginning where a plane on a secret mission crashes and it ends up carrying toxic waste, which is the most generic plot for any zombie film and the toxic waste um, turns either some people or dead corpses back to life and start of course attacking and eating the living and we then meet two doctors Dr. Bree and Dr. Simon who are two surgeons or regular doctors I believe and they come into the hands of the, ec the epidemic and Dr. Bree I believe is the one who pretty much gives us what's happening and he decides to pretty much go out, find what the cause is, stop it, and kill any zombies in its way. And the rest of the movie is basically comprised of a bunch of random kills, random characters, and some pretty sweet um, gore. Um, but my thoughts on this, the movie is notorious for how bad the dubbing is. The dubbing isn't on this DVD, this is actually by Cineclub. Um, this is actually just the German version of the film, but the bad dubbing could be found on the Zombie Doom DVD by Synapse, which is pretty cheap, I'm pretty sure you can find it pretty easily. But the dubbing is done so bad, it makes the movie so much more funny and a lot more watchable. I mean, if just watching it in German, I would probably turn it off immediately, but thanks to the dubbing, I like this movie so much more. The dubbing is just so bad, it doesn't fit in with any of the characters. Um, there are some funny scenes in this. The one funny scene, I think, is the two girls in the sauna, and there's this one girl who's complaining about how fat she is and how she wants to lose weight, and the zombies end up entering the sauna and killing both of the girls in Andre Shinas' own uh, way. Um, the rest of the dubbing is done awfully. Um, it's not off sync or anything like that. I mean, the characters speak in German, so uh, few syllables off track maybe, but it's not that bad really, but the dubbing of the characters are so bad, but I love it either way. The gore, it is typical Andre Chanaz gore, and I like it. I really do like the gore. It is very cheesy, very amateur, but overall really fun. Um, but overall, I love it. I usually watch it a few times a year. One of, not the best shot on video movies, but one that I really enjoy watching. If I had to give this one a rating, I'd probably rate it at least at a 5.5 to a 6 out of 10. Um, even though that's not the best rating, it's still a fun movie that I can go back to. It's an easy watch, and definitely for any um, German horror fan, for any cheesy zombie fan, or any shot on video fan, I'd really recommend checking this one out. So, alright guys, that was my review for you guys today. Hope you all enjoyed. Um, if you like this video, if you like any of our other reviews, definitely subscribe to Body Bags. Like, comment, whatever you guys do, I don't know. Um, once again, my name is Steven from Shock Extreme Productions. Until next time, see y'all later.